Hello everyone, welcome back to Chenda DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet Rapunzel's top, which is really easy pattern with some basic stitches like half double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet. And now let's get into the video. First, we are going to make the bust part. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 85. It is equal 22 inches length. If you guys want it longer, please add more chains. After you got your desired fit, next we are going to make half the ball crochet. To begin, skip two chains and make half the ball crochet into the third chain. To make half the ball crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Keep repeating this into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. So this is just a sample for showing you how to make a half double crochet. If you guys want it longer, please add more chains. After you reach the end of the row, next, for row 2, chain 2, turn your work, and we are going to make half the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Remember, chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. Keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 21, it is equal 6.5 inches width. If you guys want your top bigger, please add more rows. For the length for this top, you don't have to make it too fit around your body. After you have made long chain, fold your chain into two pieces and measuring on your bust like this. It is measuring from one underarm to another underarm. And when you wrap around your body, it should look like this. Don't worry about it's not fit on you. We will add some more rows on this side. 
and for this half double crochet stitch it will stretching when you wearing it next we are going to make single crochet along the side for row 1 chain 1 to make single crochet insert the hook into the loop yarn over and pull through the loop so now you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the loops keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row then I will meet you back again After you reach the end of the row, next, for row 2 until row 3, chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, for the second side, attach the yarn and we are going to repeat the same thing like the first side.
Next, try the top on your body and use stitch marker to mark at the underarm part. Next, we are going to make the sleeves, but first we begin with the strap. Attach the yarn into the stitch where we mark. Then chain 1 Next, for row 1, make single crochet into the next 4 stitches After you have made 4 single crochet, next for row 2, chain 1, turn your work and make single crochet into the next 4 stitches. Keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 52, it is equal 12 inches length. If you guys want your strap longer, please add more rows. After you got your desired fit, next we are going to connect the strap into the back side of the top. To begin, count 16 stitches away from the front strap and use stitch marker mark at the 17th stitch. The measurement between both straps it is equal 5 inches length. It is measuring from the front side of the underarm to the back side of the underarm. Next, turn your top. And count 3 stitches away from stitch marker, then insert the hook into the 4th stitch. Next, we are going to make slip stitch. To make slip stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Again, insert the hook into both sides loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, chain 2 and turn your work.
So this is what the straps looks like after you have made slip stitch. This is the wrong side of the top and this is the right side of the top. And next, we are going to make the puff sleeves. For row 1, make half the bow crochet into every stitch until you have one last stitch from the corner. Then I will meet you back again. After you had one last stitch remain, next we are going to make decrease by make half the ball crochet three together. For this corner stitch, we are going to skip it. To make half the ball crochet decrease, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Then continue inside the hook into the single crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Then continue inside the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. Next, continue make half the ball crochet into every stitch of the strap until you reach the top of the shoulder part. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the top of the shoulder part, next we are going to make increase by make 3 half the ball crochet into the same stitch. Keep repeating this into every stitch for 10 times. If you guys want your sleeve more puffy, please add more increasing stitch. After you have made increasing stitch into the top of the shoulder, next we are going to make half the ball crochet into every stitch until you have two last stitches from the corner. Then we are going to make decrease again. Yeah. 
after you got two last stitches remained next we are going to make half double crochet decrease by make half double crochet three together After you have made the crease, then make slip stitch into the chain 2 stitch to connect the row. So this is what the first row looks like after we have made the crease at the both corner. Next, for row 2, chain 2 and make half the bow crochet into every stitch until you have one last stitch from the corner. Then we are going to make the crease at the corner part again. After you have one last stitch from the corner, then we are going to make half the bow crochet decrease by make half the bow crochet two together. For the stitch at the corner, we are going to skip it. Then continue make half the bow crochet into every stitch around until you have two last stitches away from the corner. Then we are going to make the crease again. After you got 4 loops on your hook, then continue inside the hook into the chain 2 stitch. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then continue make slip stitch into the next stitch to connect the row. For the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 6, then I will meet you back again. Remember, for this post slip pattern, we only decrease at the corner part. Keep decreasing until you got the size around your arm that you want. If it look too small, please make less decreasing row. Try the top on your body to see the sleeve looks like on your arm. If it look too big, please make more decreasing row. Next, for row 7 until row 16, chain 2 and make half the bow crochet into every stitch around your sleeve until you reach chain 2 stitch, then make slip stitch to connect the row. If you guys want your sleeve longer, please add more rows. After you reach row 16, next, for row 17, we are going to make decrease around the sleeve. To begin, chain 1. And we are going to make half the bow crochet decrease two together. Keep repeating this into every stitch around until you reach the chain one stitch. 
Then make slip stitch to connect the row. After I have made decreasing stitch for one row, it still looks too big for my arm. So I'm gonna add one more decreasing row. For row 18, we only make decrease at the top of the shoulder part. And for the underarm part, just make no more single crochet. It doesn't matter how many stitches. Just for the underarm part, make no more single crochet. And for the top of the shoulder, we are going to make single crochet decrease. To make single crochet decrease, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop, then continue insert the hook into the next loop. So now, you have 3 loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Just keep decreasing until you reach the size that fits around your arm, then stop decreasing and make no more single crochet at the end of the arm part. Remember, if it still looks too big on your arm, please add more decreasing rows, and if it's too tight, please make less decreasing row. So this is what my sleeve looks like after I have made 2 rows of decreasing stitch. Next, for row 19 until row 21, chain 1 and make single crochet into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach chain 1 stitch, then make slip stitch to connect the row. Thank you. 
And now for your left sleeve is done. For the right sleeve, we are going to repeat the same thing like the left sleeve. First, attach the yarn into the stitch where we mark. Then make 4 single crochet until you have 52 rows for the strap. Then we are going to make slip stitch to connect the strap into the back side of the top. Next, chain 2 and we are going to make the pause sleeve by repeat the same thing like the left sleeve. Next, we are going to make single crochet around the neckline. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Next, make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the other side. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make single crochet into the bottom part of the top. Attach the yarn. Chain 1 and make single crochet into this stitch until you reach the end of the row then chain 1 and cut off the yarn
Next, we are going to make the shell stitch around the neckline. I'm using the white color with thin thread. It is 3 ply yarn with a 1.6 millimeter hook. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Next, skip 1 stitch. Then make 6 double crochet into the next stitch After you have made 6 double crochet into the same stitch, next, skip 1 stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat the same thing like the first stitch by skip 1 stitch and make 6 double crochet into the next stitch. After you have made 6 double crochet into the same stitch, next, skip 1 stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch. Keep repeating this around the neckline until you reach the other side, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now your neckline part is done. For the front lace, make 300 chains. It is equal 42 inches. If you guys want it longer, please add more chains.
Next, for the back lace, make 150 chains, it is equal 26 inches. The purpose on put the back lace into the back side of the top, it is to support the sleeve not to fall off from your shoulder. I am not attach the chain into the back side of the top, in case that if you guys want to wearing the corset part to the back side, it is easy for you to remove this support lace. And now your pencil's top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.